welcome back to We Watch Movie. Mike here. Sorry, I'm doing like four fucking videos today, and I'm with the fuck right off the bat. You just gotta knock it out of the room. I'm doing like four videos today. I, I, I worked an all nighter last night. I've not slept at all. Uh, full frontal male nudity disclosure right now. I am high on sugar, and that's I'm, I'm running on fumes. So my brain's a little fucking mashed potatoey right now. So don't blame me for that. Or do. So The Hunger Games, Mockingjay, part two. The thing that's so fucking big, I don't even think they had to show a trailer for it before it came out. They just knew people were gonna go see it. I don't think I've ever been more indifferent toward a franchise than I am The Hunger Games. None of these movies just ever, I didn't read the books, they didn't have enough pictures, whatever. These movies just never did it for me. They were just like, okay, it's not like Twilight, you know what I'm saying? But it's not fucking Star Wars either. They always had enough to keep me interested, at least I could sit through watching it once. None of them, not even the last one, uh, would I ever consider being like, hey, I, I, I want to watch that again. It's been a couple years. It's like, no, nah, I sat through it. I made it through. It was okay. They really saved the best for last. I mean, shit actually happened, finally. I won't even give away anything, any, any of the plot or anything like that. Let's just say the fucking story continues. Because if you give a shit enough to watch this, you know what the fucking story is, right? Let's not waste time with plots. I am wasting time talking about how I'm not going to do it. I should have just not gone and seen the movie and just made a video about why I wasn't going to go see it. But then I went and got this bucket of stale popcorn. This movie was fucking intense. I mean, I, don't turn off yet. I know it's the Hunger Games and you're like, come on, this is poppy sort of sometimes maybe a little bit intense, kinda. It's pop punk, maybe. I like pop punk, but this shit's not intense, Mike. Shut the fuck up. Turn off your camera and leave your family when the shit hits the fan in this movie. And they started out all dramatic too with the Mockingjay Part 2, Peter's a fucking asshole all of a sudden. And I'm thinking, yeah, whatever, you guys are over dramatic, your movies aren't that good. The graphics at the beginning, just like in the first movie, when the train's going through and you see the capital, it's like, that's overly CGI, they're not even trying. This looks like the Allegiance detergent trailer or whatever. Um, and then again with this, when there's a scene where they show like the aircraft's flying, and I'm thinking more crappy CGI, all of a sudden, this scene happens and they have to escape a moment, and I'm like, that was really, really intense. And I was actually very, very into the movie and what was going on. The rebellion's taking full force. There's some really, really good action scenes in this movie. And they actually did a really good job with some of the special effects in this. Um, some gnarly shit happens in this movie. It didn't feel like filler for once. It felt like, well, this is a fucking ride. I'm on. Uh, and, and it didn't feel like they were just banging it out for the next movie. It felt like we're laying all our shit down. We're going all in and we're, we're throwing you the dick. Mockingjay threw you the dick. Some stuff felt like it, it had to be rushed to fit into the movie. Like big scenes like, oh, and by the way, we forgot to tell you this happened because it's important in the book. They did that a little bit, but uh, really impressed with how just like the dramatic scope of this movie. They really saved it up and just fucking blew their load at the end. Um, Sorry for all the sex references, I'm tired. I was really, really invested in this story and things got dark. You know, they got really dark and they got really interesting and I really did forget for a little bit that this was, you know, a, a, a young adult book or whatever. And I forgot that Lenny Kravitz was ever a part of this. Honestly, if you've never seen a Mockingjay movie and your chick or whoever wants to explain a couple things to you right before you walk in the theater, uh, go ahead and go see it. I, you'll have an alright time. You will not have that bad of a time. I actually give Mockingjay Part 2 an 8.5 and I feel weird about it. It was a fun action movie, guys, and it was really, really suspenseful and fun. There, I said it. Now Ohio State's going to lose today. Even if you knew it was going to be good, what's the last movie you saw that really raised the bar higher than you thought they were going to? Comment below. Let me know. I love your faces. Click that subscribe button and get some wham up in you.